Hi, I'm Eric from Stinger Electronics, and today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your radio replacement module in your Jeep Wrangler interface. Step one, take a pry tool and get all these ducks off your dash. Now we're going to remove this trim ring from the, run, from the front of the Hyten, and that's going to let us get to the screws that secure the display on. If you push just a little bit right here, it makes this piece pucker out just enough to get a pry tool behind. Just remove that trim ring and now you have two screws on this side and two screws on the other side in the same location side. So grab a long handled screwdriver, grab a long handled screwdriver and have at those screws. If you've got something magnetic that makes it even easier. Now with the four screws removed, two on each side, we can remove the display panel which is basically clipped in here. Two cables onto the back of the heightened display push down the locking tab to disengage. This one, you might need to remove some plastic in here. We've already cut this one out. If not, you could take a flathead screwdriver, run up in here and push down on this locking tab to get that cable disconnected. At this point, if you can reach the USB port on the bottom of the module, you don't have to remove the module from the Jeep. Just make sure that the Jeep is off and then connect a USB cable to the port and you can update the module's firmware inside the vehicle but I'll go ahead and continue with disassembly for the purpose of this video. Now, if you're familiar with your Wrangler, you got a screw in here, one screw up here, two underneath the, the steering column here. So we're gonna drop this piece under the steering column, remove these two screws, pull this piece out of the center, remove the one screw here and remove this upper pocket and remove the screw that's up here. Now remove the lower knee bolster plastic below the steering column. It's going to give us access to the two seven millimeter bolts here under the steering column. When you go to take this section of the dash off, make sure your Jeep's not on. You're going to turn on the windshield wipers and spray yourself a bit. Set this guy aside. Cool. Might need a pair of snips to cut these zip ties that are securing the module into place. Again, we have a USB port for our diagnostic purposes. That will not be plugged in in your installation, but you'll have all these fun cables. We have a power harness. We have the expansion port, which plugs into the pack link. So this plugs into one of these. We can leave that with it so we don't lose it. Here's your vehicle harness. Amplified and non-amplified, make sure you know which port you're plugged into. Amplified over here, non-amplified over there. This is a non-amplified Jeep. So when we plug this in, we we'll wanna use that port again. And our power radio. On your computer, visit pack-audio.com and search SRKJK11H. On the product page, below the main image, you'll find several tabs. On the firmware tab, at the bottom of the list, you'll find the Radio Pro PC application. Click to download. At the top of the list, you'll find the latest firmware. Also download the latest firmware. From your downloads folder, run the Radio Pro EXE file. This will install the Radio Pro computer app on your PC. A blue window may appear with a dialog box. Stretch this dialog box and click more information. Now you can click run anyway. This will run the Radio Pro installation on your PC. Click OK and click Install. Once the program is fully installed, click Run. At this point, if you try to load a firmware file and select a file, you won't be able to because the Radio Pro app won't see the module. So connect your module with the USB cable. And the lights are blinking. I'm thinking it's all over for this firmware because I'm going to load some new stuff on here. So now with the module detected, we can select the firmware. So click the firmware icon and select file. Select your downloads folder and choose the firmware that we downloaded earlier and click open. Please be patient while the module is updating. It takes a while for the PC and the Radio Pro module to communicate.
If you have the latest firmware on your module, a pop-up will appear indicating that you have the latest firmware. If you want to update it anyway, click OK. Now a green status bar will move across the screen. Please be patient. Even after the green status bar goes across the screen, you want to wait for the pop-up window to appear before you disconnect the module. Once the module is done updating, click OK, and you can take the module back to the vehicle. Reinstall all the harnesses you disconnected earlier, and reinstall the dash. To put this display back on, we're going to take the four Phillips screws and put them in through the slots and align just so that they don't stick out of this edge of the plastic. So this way, when you put the display back on, you're going to run through here with your screwdriver and tighten these screws in. So we're going to connect these two cables, snap the display onto the dash, sneak through here and tighten up these four screws. So we're going to connect our two connectors here to the back of our display. And USB, these will just click right in, no need to force them. Tuck your cables down in the channel there. Align this just above the air vents and push straight on. Push here on the plastic, not on the screen, but here on the plastic. And with our screws slightly inserted, you just push back on the plastic here and tighten these up. So now when this is secured, it will not wiggle off the dash. Is that secured properly? Nay. Now, when it's secured, it will not wiggle off the dash. So then we can tighten this guy up here. Same way. Nice and solid. Good. Do the same over here on this side. Again, pushing on just the plastic, not the screen. In there. Once we're good here, good to let it go. Good. Cool. But there, and then this bottom one. And if we this little this guy can go down here. File well, for cheap goodies back in here that there. This guy can go back in here. And then we're going to take our trim ring, top on first, hook it in like that, nice and easy. Ta-da! Just like that. I hope you found this video educational and slightly entertaining. Thanks for watching.